What's up, World of Dance? I'm here at the Terrace Theater in Long Beach for Culture Shock LA's 20 year anniversary showcase. Let's play a game and go inside and see who we can find to tell us all about Culture Shock LA. What's up, everybody? I'm here with. J J J Jolie! And. V V V Villain! Oh, that was like a beatboxer, kind of. Tell us about Smooth. Oh, it's just like a piece like uh, I've always wanted to do because it works really well with performing it like for an audience. So you'll see why I wanted to perform it for the audience. And it's a short piece, like two minutes. And I had just some of my friends that, you know, I feel like I've always wanted to do something with them. And uh, I'm, I used to be uh, in Culture Shock. For th I've been in it for three years and I'm an alumni, so I'll be performing with them as well. Fun! And then Julie, you said you're in Culture Shock now. Is that correct? Yes, this is my second year. Uh, and Culture Shock. So we got uh, three pieces, and then we have a couple of the Culture Shock and the alumni, even though they're still on Culture Shock, and yeah, it's gonna be fun. How has Culture Shock in general have shaped you as a dancer, your past? Um, you know what, actually when I came uh, to Culture Shock, I think I was a little rough on the choreo side, and now I'm just a little slightly r less rough on the, on the choreo side, but um, they definitely helped me a lot in terms of shaping me as a dancer, because there's so many people on Culture Shock that are just amazing dancers and super inspiring. And I feel like because they have so many dope dancers on it, that um, I don't know, you just learn so much when you're on it. For, for me, I was able to sort of like reach out into like their uh, after school programs, you know, like the community outreach programs that they do. So I was able to connect with uh, younger kids in uh, elementary school and they have like after school programs. So I was able to teach dance and sort of like give back to the community in that sense. So that was really cool. And not only that, I've learned so much from Culture Shock uh, LA. And, just sort of meeting all these inspirational people, and I, I felt like I met some of the coolest people from Coach Shack LA, you know what I mean? So, um, ever since then, you know, me transitioning out, I came back to do the alumni piece, and I'm, I'm excited. Jelly from Poriotics. And I'm here with Megan Batoon from World of Dance. Jet, you have a lot of history with Culture Shock LA. I do. Um, or it was actually the first organization I joined. It's actually the first uh, organization where I actually learned how to do choreography. I was like pretty much going into Culture Shock seven years ago. I was pretty much one of the, I was like one of those street dancers who didn't really care about anything. I was like, I'm just gonna pop, yeah. show off and stuff like that. But then uh, Culture Shock kind of tamed me and then uh, eventually uh, uh, I joined the popping team. Me and Mike actually choreographed the uh, popping section. You know, this is also here to perform with Kinjas as well. So, um, like all of us have deep, most of the Kinjas actually have deep roots with Culture Shock. A lot of your favorite dancers have deep roots with Culture Shock. And it just, uh, I think today's generation doesn't really know about that. I actually was, uh, I actually uh, directed a portion of Culture Shock, the, uh, the popping team as well. So I was an assistant artistic director. We were the only organization that was like really supporting um, uh, outreach programs, school outreach programs, stuff like that. Like I used to teach at different high schools. So I was like, yeah, you know, like this is where my roots are. And like, I, this is just me giving back to what made me. I love it. I'm here with Dana. Hi. Oh, I like that. <laughs> so Dana, you're a part of Culture Shock alumni, yes? Yes, I am. How was that in your experience all together? Um, I absolutely love it. Just being back here with everyone and seeing how much they've grown, it's tremendous. It's a tremendous opportunity. Culture Shock, I have to say, was the start of my dance background. It is like the, where I came from as a dancer, all the training that, I, that I've had has come from Culture Shock. They spawned all of the, the dance, I started a dance company on the East Coast because of Culture Shock. I mean, all of this, the director, um, directing things, producing things, writing things, all came from um, the experiences that I had from Culture Shock. 
Culture Shock, so I'm very thankful. Thanks, Culture Shock. You're the best. Life to me is easy. People make it complicated. When love is the tool, no reason we can't make it. Come on, let's go be brave. Feel something at the praise. Once we know that we're made, then give it all away. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. My love. Yeah. I'm here with Chad from Boreotics. Hi, or no, Culture Shock LA. We're at the showcase. Okay, well, let's do this again. Cut. Hi, I'm with Chad from Culture Shock LA. LA. Culture Shock LA. What's up? <laughs> so you have a lot of experience with Culture Shock in the past few years. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience? Well, let's see. This is my second year on Culture Shock LA, but I've been around the actual Culture Shock team for a while because my girlfriend is actually alumni. So she's been on it for like years before I've been on it. Uh, they've been around the scene for like years and years, way before a lot of the teams that are around now. Do a lot of community outreach. Um, they try to preach, like go out, reach out to like, the kids and um, try to teach them that, about dance and like um, and teach them more the culture about dance because there's more to dancing rather than just doing cool dance moves and looking cool. But there's an actual culture to it in history. That's what Culture Shock tries to preach. One last question before I let you guys go. I'm just making this game up right now. One word to describe Culture Shock LA. Um, okay, let's do this. <laughs> um, I would say giving. I don't know, that's just the first word that came out of my head. Giving. Can I say two words? <laughs> you always want more. Inspiring. Inspiration. Can I just say a couple words? Culture Shock. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Support. Family is too cliche, so I'm not gonna put that in. Has anyone said family yet? Family. Impact. Coach Chuck makes an, a big impact on a lot of people's lives, more than anything. Foundation. Love. 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 And that's that. Sorry, that's not a good answer, huh? Coach nope. Chuck LA, I can't do it in one word. All I have to say is Coach Chuck LA is like, uh, it's like the birthplace. I would say birthplace of a, this whole community. Possibly. Yeah. Birthplace. Better word. Love and birthplace. Done. I'm it. That's it. Done. Done. Have a nice life. <laughs>
ting 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 parang pang pang tang 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 longest song ever except can sorry oh jeez <laughs> can you be serious can? with us i'm trying to be